Yes, doctor. I, my wife's dentist wants to pull 29 of her teeth and give her full dentures because of bone, bone damage after 50 years of carbamazine use. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, first of all, um, I'd go to another dentist, get another opinion, you know, delay a little bit here. But I would also, how much does your wife weigh? Is she a big girl or small? She's five feet and maybe 125. Okay. Does she have any other health problems, any diabetes or high blood pressure or asthma or eczema? Not that I know of. Well, you'd know no. you're married to her. Well, I don't think so. Not, okay. not that she's ever <laughs> mentioned to me. Well, you, some of that stuff you can see. You don't even have to have her mention it to you. What about um, bowel problems? I've never any seen any. I'm, I'm sorry? Does she have any bowel problems, any constipation, diarrhea, irritable bowel syndrome, anything like yes. that? Yes, yes, she has had bowel problems. Okay, and she weighs about 120, you say? Yeah, 125, one, something like that. Okay, Charmaine, what's going on here? She has a gluten intolerance. You get an A-plus here. Yep, she has gluten intolerance, absolutely. And so she's not absorbing nutrients. And what would you recommend, okay, for Michael's wife here, uh, so she can actually support maintenance repair of the bones in her face? What's going on in her face and her skull? Well, she's got osteoporosis of the face and skull. What? Osteoporosis in her face and skull? How come her dentist didn't tell her that? I don't know. Okay, Char, now what kind of diet would you put Michael's wife on, and what uh, supplement program would you recommend for her? Well, she needs to be on a gluten-free diet, obviously, mm -hmm. so she can absorb everything. And I would suggest that she gets on a bone and joint pack because losing your bones in, in your skull it makes your teeth fall out. Exactly right. Osteoporosis of the skull uh, results in your bones going away in your face. You get receding gums. You get loose teeth, bone loss, uh, and tooth loss. Uh, you get all kinds of peripheral neuropathies, the 12 cranial nerves on either side. You get uh, them being pinched, and you get all kinds of things like, like Bell's palsy, trigeminal neuralgia, gradual deafness, all that kind of stuff, all due to osteoporosis of the skull. And doctors never talk to people about osteoporosis of the skull. So, again... Uh, you're exactly right. you got to get rid of all the bad food in your household, and that includes yourself, Michael, as well as your wife. No fried food, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat brought around oats. And that includes dog food, uh, cat food, bird food, fish food, uh, spouse, mother-in-law, renters, kids, uh, you know, all, everybody in the household has got to be gluten-free so she can absorb. And then Char's exactly right. At 120 pounds or so, I'd have her take one healthy brain and heart pack per month, divide that in half, half a dose of everything, Twice a day, except for the osteo, I'd, I'd get an extra bottle of osteo, so she'd take an ounce of breakfast, ounce of dinner time. What would you do, Char, to uh, add to that? Uh, you said the glucogel, right? The glucogel that would be 15 glucogel a day. Even if she's only 120 pounds, I'd give her 15 glucogel a day, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. And what other vitamin would you add to really increase the efficiency of utilization of the minerals, including calcium? Vitamin D3. Absolutely. Do you prefer the capsules or the spray? I, I take the capsules. Okay. Then at 120 pounds, which is a little bit more than you weigh, you weigh about 110, 115, I'd go ahead and take uh, three of those three times a day. That'd be three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner, because she's got some serious problems here. And usually within a week or 10 days, she's going to see some real benefit here. The teeth begin to tighten up because most people today don't spend enough time out in the sun. And so the vitamin D2 that's in the supplement programs can't get activated unless you get out in the sun and it activates the vitamin D2. So it's imperative that she supplements with the D3 also. Okay. And then give us a call every couple of weeks. Michael, let us know how she's doing. But I'd seek out another dentist and say, hey, um, you know, we're looking to do this nutrition to rebuild the bones in the face and the skull. Uh, we don't want to pull 20 something teeth and have full dentures made. No, no, no. But I'd give it, give it 30, 60 days. I'd give it 60 days for sure. And you'll see something happen here, which will make you, Say, gosh, we made the right decision by not letting them pull all our teeth.